Hello guys, it's Senior AVP WWE 34 and I'm here today to do a review on the new Burning Godzilla SH Arts Monster Arts toy that I got for Christmas. And let me show you it right now. So we are, here we are guys, this is our SH Monster Arts Godzilla, the Burning Godzilla from the 1995 Godzilla movie Godzilla vs Destroyer which I've watched personally and it is a fantastic film. It's also very sad when Godzilla dies, but I love this Godzilla. I mean, this costs me around 50 quid, really. Well, it cost my mum 50 quid. But it's got stunning artic articulation in it. You can see the jaw movement. You can see the arm movement. You can see the leg movements. The legs, I mean, they've got these little nibbly bits that just, yeah, they're just weird. But it's good. It's really good. I like this. And the tail is a beaut, is just a beaut in articulation I mean look at that can make it sway from side to side can go up and down can make it go all around <laughs> it's crazy I love the detail on that let's just get a zoom into the detail just look at that look at that beauty on that it's superb and I mean there's all sorts of articulation there's, um, but this figure is a must buy um, I think it's about six inches tall so I think it'll go wonderful with some of your Godzilla figures if you've got six inch Godzilla figures. I don't know. But um, <clears throat> let's get on to the accessories. So here we have one of the, um, it seems to be like a military kind of based vehicle. I don't know what this is. I've, I've seen this in the end of the film when they use this kind of weapon. I forgot what it was called. Um, well, it's, it's, it's some kind of tank that the military uses to freeze Godzilla and at the end freeze uh, Desertroyer. So then he falls to the ground. It's pretty good effect. And I love the I love the detail on this. I mean, just look at the detail. I mean, usually with these small figures, you don't get much detail, but with this, with this kind of detail, you've got you've got a superb figure. You've got a little, little superb figurine or accessory or whatever you got. Just love the little lines, the little dints, whatever. It's superb, and it's it's two colours, so you don't get one colour. So then it's not all green, which I really love. Let's go on to the next accessory. And here we go, we have the other um, military based vehicle, it's a different t design. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention on the other one is that it has some articulation, but this, well, this has one part of articulation, the other one has two. They both have articulation on them, which they can go 360 like that. This one I like, because it has some kind, it, the, the weapon at the front looks superb, because it's not like blunt, it's, it's sharp, it looks sharp, it looks something, it looks something that's gonna you know do a lot of damage and it's intimidating as well it's got those little rockets or little missile projectors or whatever I don't know the wheels I don't that's the only complaint I have about this set is that the wheels I mean they could have they could have put a bit more detail on them I mean just a tiny bit and maybe made and maybe made them loose so you could just do that because the stationary you can't do anything with them but overall it's good it's a good accessory that let's get on to the second pair of hands for so guys, here we have the two other hands with the, oh, well, they these are slightly more open than the other ones, so they're much different, but it doesn't matter. The, the, I mean, there's a slight difference, but I could have, we could have asked for a bit more. We could have had, like, like proper fully open hands, like, like that, or something more like that. Well, you can't see my full hand, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but these hands are still beaut beautiful with detail. Just look at that. Just get it in closer. And there we go, you can see the detail, absolutely beautiful. And the claws, a uh, bit of wear and tear on them, probably from the way they've been manufactured. Ooh, what's that? Get lost. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this is, uh, these, these claws on these hands are just superb. I mean, the detail on these accessories is superb, especially for these ones, because usually you get these really good figures and then the accessories are just cheap crap, basically. So yeah, overall, SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla is a superb figure, I recommend you to pick it up, it would be an awesome jewel in your Godzilla collection if you're a Godzilla fan, and it's got stunning articulation, it's got stunning detail, so yeah, it would be probably the pride, the jewel, the diamond, the gold in your collection if you do pick it up, so I recommend you pick it up, I recommend you do pick up the other SH Monster Arts figures that are out there, there's Space Godzilla, there's Desert Troyer, 
There's other Godzillas from other ages, and there's Baby Godzilla, and there's Kiryu and Mecha Godzilla. So yeah, pick them up. Thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye. Have a happy holiday. And I'm signing out. Goodbye. So here we are, guys. This is eight. Well, overall, SHR's monster. Overall, SH Monster Arts Godzilla, the burning. Oh, sugar.